When I was in I the third grade, better. I thought that I was gay, and I was. <laughs> Cammy Scott original. Oh, it's filming. Oh my god, yeah, I was like, that sounds so familiar. Okay, hi guys, welcome back. I have very special guest, Shannon here. What's up? Uh, I didn't know how to do this. I have a very special guest. You sound like we're like 80 years old. I'm doing old. a talk show. You guys asked for it. Shannon tricked me into it. <laughs> That's not true. If you guys don't know, I started a series on my channel called Asking for a Friend, where you guys send me questions and I answer them. Most of your questions have been centered around breakups, getting over an ex, when to break up, how to be friends with an ex. So I thought, what better way to answer these questions than with my ex? Oh, how weird. Let's do it. I'm excited. Are you? Yeah, we know all about breakups. We have had one. <laughs> How do you go about handling a breakup when you want to break up, but the other person may not want the same thing? I don't think that was the case with us at all, but I think that I've had a lot of friends go through this and it can be really difficult. The best advice I personally can give is you're not doing them any favors. I know you might want to be nice or hold on for them, but staying with someone when you're not completely in it, you're doing them a disservice. Allow someone who's gonna love them properly and wanna be with them, they're a good person, they deserve that. Like if you stay with someone and you shouldn't be with them and you know you shouldn't be with them, then you're just being selfish, you're not helping anyone. These are all like heavy questions, but we're just gonna do it. You guys said you need to break up to discover yourself, so do you feel you have accomplished that? Have you been discovered? It sounds like a modeling. Yeah, I've been discovered. Um. <laughs> I mean, I feel like what we were saying when we were saying like whatever in our breakup video, link in bio. Oh, f you. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I feel like what we were saying though was more that we didn't know who we were without each other. It was less of like, I have no idea who I am. It was like, who are we without each other? Because so much of our identity became like together. So I feel like there's no way we couldn't have discovered more about ourselves. Yeah. And not to say like we didn't know who we were, but I needed to realize like who I was who, how I was being affected by Shannon or by the relationship. You can do that while being in a relationship. I'm not saying just because you're confused or you're going through a hard time means you have to break up with the person you're with. But if it is taking a toll on the relationship or you feel yourself questioning it a lot, then you kind of need to go figure your stuff out. I just think you need to take time on your own sometimes. And I don't think we had that. Like we really did grow up together a little bit. We were both still in college when we met. I moved from Pittsburgh to Dallas and then we moved to LA together. Like mm -hmm. it was a growing time in our both of our lives and we just did all of it as a unit and like worked together, lived together, had all the same friends that we kind of lost our individual identities. Sense of self. If I went somewhere without Shannon, they're like, Where's Shannon? <laughs> yeah. But I didn't know who I was without her either. I was like, Yeah, you're right. Where is Where's she? she? What am I do? <laughs> do you miss each other? Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, like of course, right? I feel like that's like the weirdest and hardest part about like breaking up with someone is that they go from someone you talk to every day to like there's just no way. Even if you're gonna stay friends with like an ex, which I think you can, but like there's no way it's this. It just it, your dynamic is gonna change for sure. Mm -hmm. So like the only way I wouldn't miss you is if I like hated you or we had like a terrible breakup, which yeah. I don't feel like we did. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. In a I healthy way, not in a like. Yeah, not in like a I want to be back together. <laughs> Love me. <laughs> I think, especially because our lives were so intertwined, that we kind of had to like rebuild everything. Like, totally. Yeah. Even if not that we hated each other at all, but even if you hated that person, it can kind of get confusing. Like, do I miss how my life was? And my whole life was you, so it was like, I know that sounded, that sounded so weird, but you were like in every aspect yeah, of my life. Like I didn't have a hobby, a friend, anything that Whoa. you weren't there. Yeah. And I think that's that really sounds dangerous. terrible. And it was, that's it was like really unhealthy. Yeah, exactly. You saying that, it's like, yeah, I'm yeah. Really broke up. It's yeah, you, terrible. and like, just to add on to that, you, in any relationship, you need your own things. Like, yeah, holy shit. Whether you're at a job all day, like, we didn't have anything to talk about at the end of the day. It was like, what'd you do today? You know what I did. We've been I together like, all day. day. Like, that's super unhealthy. Segwaying into staying friends with an ex, because you mentioned that. I think that's the number one question I get about Shannon, other than, would you guys ever get back together? <laughs> My stance on if you want to have a friendship with an ex is you need to stop talking to them for a while. I personally don't feel like it's possible to just like snap your fingers and go from being with them 
and then well, especially for like friends. from like three and a half years. Like I think maybe and if it's you the were only way I knew you. We yeah, were we were never first. friends. So yeah, <laughs> never, never friends. We were never I friends. never liked you. I was just thinking, except for remember when we first yeah. started talking, and I was like, I just want to be your friend. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah well, Obviously, the like parameters of our relationship are so different because it was so public yeah and that could be really hard also like in the future like that's getting thrown in the faces I mean, like, of everyone tagged every day yeah in pictures on Instagram this video is not gonna help but we get tagged every day <laughs> in pictures together so like you have to take new dating partners feelings into consideration so there's no answer being like hey follow these yeah, steps this is how you are yeah friends. just be honest with yourself if you still have feelings for them don't do it <laughs> probably I would rather pause our friendship for like two three something years four five <laughs> nine ten. but I'd rather pause our friendship now than try to be like best friends off the bat and then like cause like something where yeah. like then we'll never be able to be friends so basically what we're saying is we're best friends <laughs> sure <laughs> Okay, little disclaimer, because we kind of realized that that made us sound like we're so not friends. I don't want to like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, Shannon and I might not be like hanging out one-on-one -on -one all the time. Like, we're not each other's best friend, but we have similar we're friend groups. We're like, friendly, for yeah. sure. I invited you to my birthday. You didn't come. <laughs> yeah. I had the flu, yeah, so you're was welcome. Like, you know, Literally whatever. had the flu. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. We were so special. <laughs> What's your take on continuing a relationship that feels good right now but has no long term potential? I personally don't believe in like getting into relationships with someone unless you think that you will be with them forever. Which I think it depends what age no, you are. No, it definitely does. But even when I was like 18, which is like when I met you, like I, I'm not going to get into a serious relationship where I'm like really like pouring myself into someone and like. I'm not even saying like be exclusive with someone, but I'm saying like, yeah. get into a serious relationship unless yeah, like I think had. there is a chance I could be with them forever. Yeah. Cause like, it's just not worth the time. Like yeah. I, I just can't imagine doing that. I don't think there's anything wrong with dating people for fun. Like fully, obviously you should date people for fun if you're like young and like whatever. Like I date, I've dated people and not like That'd been be in a relationship with someone. Like I think that's totally fine. When do you know it's time to call things off? What's that song? What's that song? It's a Tegan and Zara. Wait, what? Call your boyfriend. It's time, time we had the talk. Um, Dev, 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 Dev. <laughs> Robin, Robin. Robin, Deb, 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 Deb. Yeah, that song. Is it called Call It Off? Call your girlfriend. Are you thinking of a different song? Yeah. I think that can be really hard. Also, I'm gonna couple this with another question I know somebody asked, which is how to know when your relationship isn't right or if it's other factors in your life. And I don't think there's any direct answer to be like, oh, just do this and you'll know what it is. But if it's affecting your relationship, if other problems in your life are really kind of being magnified within your relationship or you're not treating your significant other properly because you're dealing with stuff, you maybe need to take time to yourself to deal with those in order to be with someone. A lot of people stay in relationships longer than they should because they're like, am I just not trying hard enough or am I staying in something? That's not right. I think it's just a feeling. There's definitely no black and white answer, but I do think that if you're finding yourself trying to convince yourself of the reasons why you're still dating someone or you're like, I, I should point. be together with this person because of this and this and this and this, it's like, that's kind of a sign that like, why am I having to convince myself to be in a relationship? I think relationships like if they're working and they're like happening organically then you're not having to be like but we have this and we do that and yeah. I love that and this is great like that's yeah. like obviously getting to a point where like maybe something like a feeling thing is lost and then you're trying to rationalize it I think that's a good sign yeah if you're spending the majority of your time thinking like I don't want to be with this person or wondering what it would be like without that person if most of your time is spent thinking that instead of like I'm so lucky to have this human in my life it might be time to ax them. <laughs> Is it normal to still miss your ex from time to time even if you're technically pretty much over them? You can miss the life you had with a person, especially if your life changes a lot. Like I think our lives changed 100%. completely. Like a three, no, one eight. One eight. <laughs> three, six, we're back together. 
I think there's a big difference between like missing the person and wondering if you should be back with them, but like, and a whole nother thing when you're over it and you're good and then being like, why am I having these feelings of missing them? I know with us, like you were my best friend. So it wasn't just like losing a significant other. It was like, who am I gonna hang out with? Like this is true. I felt like I didn't even foster my friendships properly because I always had someone to hang out with. True. Like, I didn't need to hang out with anyone else. Someone was always gonna be there. That's so true. you're always like true, like true. true. That's true. 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 That's true. So true. 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 <laughs> I think that you might get those feelings confused of missing the person and missing the situation or the circumstances or anything like that. But you can definitely miss someone and not want to be with them. Yeah. So that's like, I mean, I miss my mom. So, you know, like, what? I, I'm saying like you miss, you can miss someone just cause they're like absent and that yeah. you like make sure you're not confusing. Like just like you miss someone cause they were like so important to you and like missing someone thinking like I need to be with them. Like yeah. it's very different. Yeah. Yeah. You can miss someone and not want to like be with them. Your mom was a weird example. No, what's that? Oh my God. Do you like it? Yeah, it's amazing. I want Wait. it. Yeah. Get that T-zone. My ex gives me a bitch does over. Wait, I don't think, do you see? Fucking end it. All right, thank That's you guys. the end of our relationship. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you actually put me on. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. We also did a video over on Shannon's channel, so make sure you check that one out. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell button because apparently YouTube doesn't tell anyone about the video. Yeah, that's true. Tell them if they are coming from your channel. <laughs> subscribe to me. That's what you do. <laughs> if you guys are coming over from my channel, make sure you subscribe to Cammy's channel. She's almost at 300K, which is amazing. I hit it. She is at 300K and she it deserves it. it. <laughs> okay, let's get her to 400K. Subscribe to Cammy's channel. She's the best. That was so sweet that you said that so organically and naturally. All right, love you guys so much. I'll see you next week. Bye. We don't tell anyone we dated, and there's no way to know. <laughs> no one would ever know. <laughs> Who, Shannon? Never Just mad.